40 years in the making, the exhibition titled Tinana included life drawings by Sir Derek Lardelli, one of Aotearoa's renowned artists in tamoko, carving and kapahaka. It was held as part of Tairawhiti's Arts Festival and was curated by Tawera Tahuri. A special event saw Lardelli, fondly known as Papa D's, drawings brought to life. Well, if you're going to have a live exhibition of drawings, then you've got to have live models and have a live drawing class. Fortunately for us, we had four models. To be able to have that collective uh, amount of human form in the one room is really, really exciting. And the other thing is, it indigenised the space. So, because they're all Māori and beautifully formed Māori forms, it allowed us to see them and see us for who we are in the true naked form. My main question to them was, uh, what's the kaupapa, what's it for, um, and is it nude? To be at home amongst my own people and give them something um, that is ours. I'm theirs, they're mine, here we are. The live drawing class was sold out and was attended by some of Gisborne's best known and aspiring artists. Surrounded by other artists, I was kind of like, ooh, a little bit intimidated, but once we actually got into it, it was, yeah, it just flowed really nice, and everything that I worried about was just out the door, and we were just all, all on the same level, and yeah, it was, it was great. The Tairawhiti region has a pool of creativity that is fathomless, and there's so many great stories that can be told about our past artists, but also the younger generations that are coming through now and accepting the... Uh, the global picture. Lardelli says that drawing inspiration from the past is the secret to an exciting future for Māori art. I think Māori art is in a renaissance period where there, there are so many good Māori artists now and their ability to pick up on the global picture and the utilisation of technology to grow the art form has been just outstanding over the last 25 years, quarter of a century. And it's all been based on the work of the of the chipuna. It's unbelievable what he's created in over the last years. It's he's just someone that we all look up to as artists, and you know we strive to be this. Yeah, just inspired. When you look at people like Raharui Rukupo and Te Kōtia Rikirangi from the Tai Rafiti, Pine Taya, Pone Taya from the Tai Rafiti, Abirangata, Cliff Whiting, Tai Rafiti, all those types of tipua developed in their lifetimes. Uh, passageways for us to follow and today that's what we're, we're seeing is the beauty of their hard work uh, and the investment back into rangatahi. What we're seeing is an explosion of creative brilliance by the young people as they express themselves. Due to COVID-19, the Tairawhiti's Arts Festival was split into two different events. The postponed shows will be held during a summer celebration of the arts from February the 3rd through to the 13th. Renee Lola here, Local Focus.